With your local area news this morning, I'm Justin Mott. Brought to you by Sandy Wheeler State Farm. It began when Japanese aircraft appeared in the air over Pearl Harbor in Hawaii just before 8 a.m. on Sunday morning, December 7th, 1941, a day that shall forever live in infamy. 18 U.S. ships were either damaged or sunk. 180 aircraft were destroyed and 2,403 were dead. Thousands of others were wounded. In honor of all those who served and died in Pearl Harbor, the local VFW Post 8904 in the Auxiliary is going to conduct a refilling ceremony this Wednesday starting at 10 a.m. Post Quartermaster Larry Hume would like to invite the public to attend. We'd like to invite everyone out on Wednesday, December the 7th at the Veterans Memorial on the grounds of the Shelby County Courthouse. We're having our Pearl Day Harbor observance and we'll lay a wreath in honor of the 2,403 citizens of the United States that were killed by the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7th, 1941. Anyway, we'd like to have everybody come out, and if you fly a flag, flag should be fly, flown at half-staff from sunrise to sunset. Thank you. Texans who are 65 years or older who are disabled or defined by law may postpone paying current and delinquent property taxes on their homes by signing a tax deferral affidavit at the Shelby County Appraisal District Office. For more information, please call 936-598-6171. That's 936-598-6171. The Shelby County Child Welfare Board Empty Stocking Fundraiser is going to be held this Saturday, December the 10th, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Walmart parking lot here in Center, Texas. The Shelby County Children's Advocacy Center is hosting a toy drive and will continue all the way till this Friday. For more information, please give them a call at 590-9864. That's 590-9864. Going on this Sunday, December 11th, the First Baptist Church of Timpson will host a Southern Gospel Quartet, Paul's Journey for a Christmas themed concert on December 11th at 6 p.m. Love offering will be taken. Cricket Wireless is going to have its grand ribbon cutting ceremony this Friday, December the 9th at 2 p.m. Moving along in your arrest report this morning in Shelby County, Jeremy Holloway, age 42, was sent a harassment, assault, bodily injury, interference with emergency phone call. Reagan Golden, age 21, a walk-in, disorderly conduct. Jessica Harrogrove, age 31, a Shelbyville, possession of a controlled substance. Keith Harris, age 32, a center, stealing fish. Kayla Gutterman, age 40, a center, violation of probation, original charge, theft. Fishing on land without the consent of the land owner. Kenneth Kobe Yeager, age 23, of Shelbyville, unlawful possession of a firearm by a felon. And Brent Anderson, age 27, of Center, burglary of a building. There are no new arrest reports in St. Augustine County as of this morning. And in your obituaries this morning, 7-year-old Christopher Ryan Curry of Logansport passed away Friday the 2nd in Shreveport. His service will be held today at 2 p.m. at the Watson and Sons Funeral Home with Brother Frankie Mathis and Sister Melva Rogers officiating. Interment will follow at the Willow Grove Cemetery in Shelby County. He is survived by his parents, Ryan and Michelle Curry of Logansport, grandparents, Adona and Jay McLean, Denise Curry, and Rocky and Karen Curry, all of Logansport, and Moses and Stephanie Garcia of Houston, great-grandparents, Carl and Evan Moore of Mount Enterprise, and Connie and Johnny Garcia of Houston, Sharon Holt of Joaquin, and Robbie and Jerry Huffman of Broadus. This news brought to you by Sandy Wheeler State Farm.